Welcome to Retro Crisis. And in today's episode, I've got a very special guest. I've got the Rampage Talk joining me, but he's running a little bit late. And I'm Can you hear that? Who the hell is that? Talk, is that you? Oh my goodness. How dare you interrupt me on my most busiest day of the year? Who are you? You're looking at the all-being, all-powerful, immortal. I am the fear of all fears. Do you believe in the devil, Crisis? Well, I didn't until a moment ago. And now your eyes are open, yes? Who are you? Where is Tolk? What have you done with him? What's with the questions? You better not waste my time. You called me here. I don't remember summoning you. I remember speaking to the Rampage Tolk about half an hour ago. Do you want me to use this against you? Well, um, uh, that isn't what I think it is. Yes. Yes, it is. That is quite impressive size, actually. Better believe it. This could be yours, if you're not careful. And stop wasting my time. Look. Clearly, Rampage Talk isn't here, and since I've got you in front of the mic, do you uh, do you fancy being interviewed on the on the Retro Crisis podcast for a, for a, for a few moments until we wait for uh, the Rampage Talk to get it? You keep mentioning this Rampage person. You called me here. Now come on, hurry up with the question. Look, look, I, I, you Lord of Darkness. I'm I'm really sorry for wasting your time. Hey, hey, since you're here, do you ever play uh, retro video games by any chance? Retro video game? What kind of question is this? Do you think I'm a child? Do you think I play with toys? Well, you're never too old to play with video games, right? Surely in hell they have video games. The only games they have in hell are people who entertain me! Like a circus act! Not video games. Video games. What kind of toy is this? Show me one! Show me one now! What does one look like? Oh, goodness, I haven't even got one near me, but you use one of what these to control it. it. What, what is that? That's a, con it's a control pad. Don't tell me you've never seen one of these, not even in hell. Come on. That is a laughing stop. I've never seen such pathetic toys in my life. Okay, well, well how do you pass your time in hell then? Come on, what, do you, what, does the, what does the devil do on a Friday night? Oh, Friday nights is where it gets jiggy. Jiggy, jiggy, jiggy with... A large cocktail of blood, yes. Oh, like a Bloody Mary or something. That's right. You know why it was called Bloody Mary? Uh, it's just the name of a cocktail, isn't it? <laughs> the name of a cocktail! Oh, no. Yes, it was a name of a cocktail. There are true meanings behind such names. Bloody, as in the blood of from Mary. And you know which Mary I'm talking about. Not the one next door. The higher powered one. The one that the true believers believe in. Yes. Bloody Mary. And oh, she tastes so sweet. Oh, goodness. Is that the last date you had? Was her name Mary? It actually was. It's something <laughs> fun. So, uh, so the devil, Mr. Devil, do you have any uh, plans this Halloween? Plans? Of course I've got plans! It's my most busiest day of the year! Like Santa Claus! Do you believe in Santa Claus? I, I believe in Satan Claus after, after meeting you. Oh, you are a funny one, aren't you, mister? Retro crisis. Ha ha ha! What am I doing on Halloween? What are my plans? You ask. But they, you know what my plans are. The souls of the damned are with me. And if you carry on with such foolish, rhetorical questions, you will be next. Oh goodness, what have I got myself into? I thought I was coming into a, an innocent episode with the Rampage Talk and I've definitely bitten off more than I could chew. I think I need a drink. Innocence? <laughs> innocence? You think you are innocent? Drinking that alcoholic beverage? You are sinning as we speak! Innocent. Oh, what a perfect day to visit you on Halloween. I am actually most pleased I am here now. I will be bringing you down with me, and you will see. Yeah, goodness can't fool you, my friend. It's a bit of, uh, oh, man, I, before things get any worse and before I lose my soul, I'm going to need you to unpossess the Rampage Tulk. I, I really need him here for this podcast. That maybe next Halloween we could uh, we could get together and talk about your uh, your murderous Halloween rituals. No, no, no! Ah! Yeah! Talk, oh. talk. Are you there? Oh my gosh, you're back! I'm so glad you're back, mate. I'm so glad you're here. What on earth has just happened, mate? 
the devil was just sitting in your chair right now. He possessed you. Bit of a coincidence on Halloween, don't you think? Mate, you got a lot of explaining to do. What is going on? I've got to get an exorcist in this house then. I I knew something was up with this place. I knew it. I could always hear things at night, you know. How you doing anyway, man? Except, apart from that, I am well. Thank you, brother. How are you? (laughs) Good, good. Mate, you've just celebrated your uh, your one year on YouTube, haven't you? Or is that not yet? Has that happened? It is my one. Do you know what? I think, I think yeah, because I, so my, I think I started in May. Was it May? Something like that? Was it I May this year? Know what? I, I don't even know. No, it was yeah, la- last year. I think it was, la- do you know what? I don't even know the exact date. But I think I think it's gone already. I think it has passed. Yeah, yeah. Did you, did you do anything to celebrate it or commemorate it? <laughs> I think, I, no, I haven't. I haven't. But I've been meaning to do a. I am going to be doing a a thank you video. I've been. I keep saying I'm going to do one. I'm going to do one. But I'm going to do one <laughs> before the end of the year. It's coming. It's coming because I haven't done any kind of give back or anything to the to the community. You know, so I, I need to. It needs to be done. Yeah, yeah. Your your journey's been quite interesting actually because uh, I remember. Um, seeing you on Ali streams 16 bits and bob streams just popping up now and again and uh, I don't even know how you uh, how you got coaxed into that then obviously you transitioned into having your own channel which was quite unexpected but how did that um how did that even start because like you are one of the most bizarre youtubers in the retro gaming scene that I and that I know and like what was your first step and uh, what intrigued you to do it bizarre and weird indeed bizarre <laughs> weird indeed <laughs> So I, there's two main people that encouraged me to start YouTube. That is Ali Ali, 16 Bits of Bobs, who is my cousin in real life. A lot of, most people, I think you already knew that. And obviously not everyone knows that, but a lot of mm. people, my group, you know, the people that comment on my videos and watch my stuff, they they know that. But yeah, put it down there for everyone to know. So he's my cousin. He started it and he his stuff was really funny. You know, I thought, do you know what? I, if I might, I, I was second, I was thinking maybe I should start one. But then I was thinking, oh, you know, who's got the time for that? How does he even have the time for that? How does anyone have the time for that? So, and then, and then another individual comes along called Gold Tooth Gaming. Uh, now, yeah. yeah. The legend. Oh, no, I oh, know. The le- the girth king. I mean, when, so then Ali started forwarding me videos from him. And I was like, who is this man singing at the start of his videos <laughs> about girth? I'm like. No, I've got to start one now. I've got to do something crazy. And I heard about the Girth Tube competition. So the Girth yeah. Tube competition, who the original, yeah, so Gold Tube started all that. And I was like, and, and I just see like these, I'm thinking, what is what is this Girth Tube competition about? And then I'm seeing all these like videos about like attacking other YouTubers. I'm thinking, this is hilarious. I've got, now, if I'm going to start, now is the time. I could just go in and just start yeah. like, and that is literally how I start. I do have one very first video, like an introduction kind of video, which was kind of like showing off my Nintendo Switch collection, which is absolutely awful. Like the video. Oh, really? Why is it awful? My first video I done was just crap. It was rubbish. I mean, it was like, um, but, I mean, the, the thing, the best part of it is, is how I started the video, to be honest with you. The rest of it was a bit pants, but because it was my first video, it wasn't really, I didn't really plan it properly. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't great. But the very first, I'm not going to say the whole words, but the very first, how I started was, what the F is this? That is literally my first <laughs> words of the video. I think I remember it. Yeah. <laughs> the, game to the, camera, yeah, the game, Genryu 2 to the camera. It was me literally, you've got, I had to put Rampage to the name, you know. Um, that was my first video. But then I think after that, it was literally, just, I just started doing Girth Tuber stuff. So people so for, think, for, oh, for someone that doesn't know what Girth Tuber is, like someone who's coming in blind, how would you kind of explain it to them? Oh, Yes, because this is something that's taken over the like the UK retro community by storm kind of thing over the last two years. Yeah, it has um, it's progressed really well. I mean, so it it's kind of like it's you say girth. If you if you know what girth means, you know what girth means, right? So, but it's not just about the size. It's about the effort you put into to say like you're doing a normal video, right? So you do your normal stuff. Say so take you for example, doing a, you know your your guidance videos, but then you want to add in a bit of comedy or a bit yeah. of something else in there just to spice things up for not just everyone, not just other people, for your own channel as well, you know. And, and it's to it's to help you know even smaller channels to grow, smaller channels to get noticed. And it's like adding a bit of comedy, just even just attacking someone else just for fun of it. You know, if they they know what Girth Tuber competition is, they know it's all for a laugh, right? Yeah, yeah. It's basically it, you know. It's just it's just about having fun and just making the gaming community have a laugh, really. Yeah. So it's like a twist on the the whole YouTuber of the month type Mm -hmm. uh, competition. Basically, yeah, yeah. Where you don't you you don't take any you know you don't take it very you know you're not supposed to take it super seriously. 
I mean, yeah, it's great. It's you. You are supposed to vote for people and like in a traditional way of a competition, but it's you're just about. It's about having fun, really. It can be anything you want, you know. Go yeah. through can mean anything you want. You can do whatever you want. Now, the what the wilder creativity, the better, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're you're bloody notorious for that. I think you've yes. you single handedly raised the bar because I remember watching a bunch of those videos before you'd kind of entered that scene or whatever. And they were all, I mean, even at that point, I thought, so like different YouTubers start campaigning for why they should win Girth Tuber and they start making a like campaign videos and they start tearing down their opponents in the videos. And, but mate, I, I think, um, I think Ali was doing it or Ali was nominated for Girth Tuber or something. And then you came in yeah. and <laughs> became his hype man. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Because, yeah, there's the, oh, the story, the story behind it. It's just so funny. It's just madness. So he, yeah, so he got nominated. And then that's where, that's basically when I kind of started the channel. That's when I wanted to get in on, in on it um, to support him. But then he yeah. actually had to go to New York. So he, he was traveling at the time. And this was when, this was basically near enough at the start when he got nominated. And he didn't have the time to do kind of any videos for it. So that's that's where I came in and literally kind of took over just for him, really, to help him. And it just, I just got out of hand with it. It just got crazy. Like, I just, you know, and that's where the notorious history between me and that dirty, dirty, um, I've got him here, actually. Bear with me a second. <laughs> This 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 thing here, this thing right here. This is that's where it all started. That that dirty feed me chicken. That's where it all started, and it just, yeah, go. just got wild. I just I just went crazy. I just started doing really like even like snuff type videos. It was so bad, you know. I don't know oh if you, my you goodness, yeah, mate. Yeah. Your quite... video of when you sh- showed a chicken being like have their head cut off <laughs> on YouTube and you got away with it. I could not. I was scarred for life when you showed that video. Like how you got away with it and how YouTube didn't like take you down or something. I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, all that, yeah, I don't know. I mean, the thing is, things like that is that are out there on the internet. So it can't be that's when I thought I saw that and I thought that myself, but I didn't think I didn't think it was gonna be as bad as it was. Like yeah. a lot of people like, I can't share that because that's <laughs> but I'm like, am I just the only craziest crazy person then on YouTube? Oh no, you you <laughs> raised the bar, man. I remember then you started uh Gosh, I can't believe I'm going to say this out loud. You you started using that giant wooden <laughs> bottle opener. <laughs> bottle opener. <laughs> oh, is it actually a bottle opener? <laughs> is that actually a bottle opener? <laughs> oh my goodness! It's, yeah, yeah and you're behind this as well. So this is actually from Spain. But it, of course, it's from Spain. Where else would sell? Obviously, it? <laughs> yeah, the souvenir shops. When I saw this, I thought obviously there's small keychain ones, but. Who, who wants that when you can get this? <laughs> the full size replica. Yeah, yeah. I've, got, I've, got, I've got to get that. I've got, I actually got it for my missus as a, as a joke present when we was at yeah. before we left. And I thought yeah, I'll get yeah. that. So I got it. And then I thought, this is actually going to be perfect for Girl Trooper. Obviously, this is hilarious. So I just packed it in the suitcase and here it is. <laughs> and customs let you clear that with no issues. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I know. I know. They, they, imagine seeing that in the x ray. <laughs> See, what is that? <laughs> They probably just looked at you and winked at you and let you pass yeah, yeah. or something, yeah. And, the fu- and another funny, very funny thing is, a um, bit twisted as well, I actually left it on, um, I left this on my mum and dad's table. So came. So they were on holiday when we oh came back. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they were, they were on holiday when we came back. And then, so the house was empty, so I left it there. They were coming back a few days after. I just left it on the dining room, dining room table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can imagine my dad's reaction. <laughs> what did he say? He was not happy at all. I knew they would laugh, but yet she wasn't happy about it. So. Was he worried it was used or something? Because <laughs> yeah. my dad's kind of like got a very dry sense of humor, like me. So I said, gotcha. I mean, he's got. So I thought it'd be funny, but um, yeah, he was like, "How could you do that to your mum?" <laughs> That's to hilarious. Man. Reaction, you know. <laughs> But yeah, and, then, uh, and here it is, all in its all glory. Yeah. So, so when when you were like helping uh, Ali Ali sixteen bits and bobs like campaign for his girth tuber of the year, or was it of the month spot? I forget which one it was. Like, so, so what made you? I mean, presumably you were just doing that just to help him out. But what pres- what kind of transitioned you over to um, wanting like wanting to do it like as a as a regular thing? Like, what what was the moment that kind of sparked that? Or... I think it, it was it was just seeing 
watch Ali sending me the videos of you know goal tooth and then showing me what has been going on 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 the game and on that scene and I was like nah this is like I could I could because I you know I, I like to I love to have a laugh and when I saw what was going on I was like I've got to, I've got to be able to do something here like this is hilarious that was that's mainly it really just seeing seeing that and I was like, I've got to be able to to do to I know I could do something funny and then I just yeah I, that's when I just started attacking people you know I, no one even knew who I was I just came on and I just started just I just picked someone and it just went on from there. Just pick someone. Yeah. From there. I think it was chicken. I think chicken was actually first, I believe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because when you were making those videos, like like they were so convincing and so violent and vicious. I was thinking, <laughs> like, are they really friends? Are they really beefing? I couldn't tell. Like the I genuinely couldn't tell if it was a joke or if it was for real or not. <laughs> oh well, the the, the well the, 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 with with me and that dirty chicken, that, that is real. I mean, that is that's is pretty it's, it's pretty dark. But we won't go it, too much into that. But yeah, it's uh it's very it's real with me and him but everyone else you know they're all right they're all right <laughs> oh now. right oh i had no idea i <laughs> thought it was a little big act or something or a big check <laughs> i'll say no more <laughs> well, I had to be, that's why it had to be so violent <laughs> yes yeah, so did you want to like uh start a gaming channel were you just thinking about just keeping it crazy violent oh yeah like so I love gaming. I love gaming. Just like, you know, just like Ali does really. And when he started his channel, that was one of my inspirations to start. And I was like, yeah. But the thing is, like, I, I'm a modern gamer, really. Um, yeah. I actually was started, I, I started off with Xbox 360. Uh, well, I didn't start, I, I said I started off, but that was so, so 360. Um, and then I got the Xbox One X. But then I kind of transitioned to Nintendo Switch because I, I thought it would save a lot of time. You know, the loading times are faster handheld gaming game anywhere I like and then I was always doing the digital gaming I was always buying games on the eShop it was all digital yeah. gaming and when I saw what was going on in the gaming scene on YouTube the game you know the gaming community it got me actually collecting physical games again and I was like this is I really want to do this really now. yeah yeah big time I, I was I wasn't I didn't care about physical games because I'm I'm one of those modern era gamers where it was a lot easier I was to buy games off of um X, Xbox, just digital games on the Xbox, you know. The store, yeah. Yeah. yeah the store. I can't remember what it's called. It's been so long since I played Xbox. Uh, yeah. Mate, I don't even know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So literally, it was all it, it, when that all started up. It was all I was all buying off games at the store or um get or getting games and then just trading them in and never keeping the physical, you know, never collecting the physical games. But then when yeah. I saw what going on and seeing like all these crazy games, like this limit, I never even heard of limited run until I was watching the gaming community. I didn't even know what that was. I, didn't, I had no idea. So I was like, this is this is unbelievable. I was like, this. and then it got and I started buying the because when, when I saw, you know, you, you look at the price. On, on the digital games they're more than the physical games so, so, most cases they're more they, they, yeah. they cost on the, on the on digital I guess because it's on demand or whatever um, so I thought why am I even why am I doing this when I could actually buy physical games trade them in if I want to like I did back in the day um, before the whole digital scene came along and then if I don't want to if, if I want to buy games that I want to keep I'll just do that and then I just started collecting that's just kind of how it started and then I thought well I am a gamer why don't I just do a gaming channel you know I yeah. obviously didn't yeah. start that way <laughs> but I didn't, I didn't start that way my first video was like that but it was straight into girth tuber you know but that was it my intention i guess my intention wasn't actually to go into doing proper gaming content it i just kind of i didn't think that far ahead so i just kind of started with girth tuber just to see where because it, it was at the time girth tuber was crazy it was madness to when i started on when i came onto youtube it was really going mad like everyone was that just, period when ali was nominated yeah. i remember that those that, few months were yeah. insane yeah yeah. Towards the, yeah like towards like what was it like till end of summer and near the end of summer it was just madness like the things that were put people were putting out like uh, marathon gaming like his stuff was hilarious like and mark goes blind all that like it was just non-stop they were putting out posts like pictures images just really funny stupid stuff and videos and it was just crazy i was yeah so i was in fact i was just really cool i was in, i was in that and then kind of after Ali, what that my my main goal was to get Ali to win, really. And he just I knew he didn't have the time to do it. So I was like, you know, I, I was doing it for a laugh. I wasn't even I wasn't even really that I am a competitive person, but because it was so funny, I, I intended him to win, but I didn't I wasn't intending him, you know, to, I wasn't getting I already wanted him to win like this thing. Yeah. You know, it was just having about having a laugh. But then when the votes started coming in and and he he I said to him, you know, you are getting votes, and then if you can get more votes, and he saw the votes, he was like, all right, I've got to win this now. And then that's where he got really got competitive towards the end. And then once he won it, it was like, okay, well, he's gonna host it now. Then where do I go from here? You know? And it was like, well, yeah. I think of ideas and content that I could create. Cause I, you know, I've got and then by that by that time, I actually quite have built my collection. I haven't 
haven't got a massive collection at all, but by then I've built up a collection of games. So then I had to have, you know, thinking of ideas yeah. of content and stuff like that. Yeah, because I noticed the, the games you do share are games that I, I haven't really heard of too much, which is actually quite refreshing, to be honest, because I kind of get bored after people keep sharing the same Call of Duty or Assassin's Creed, or, you know, like those kind of very common games. So like, that's one of the things I like like about your that when whenever you show off what games you've got, like they're always these kind of obscure kind of games I've never heard of, the kind of smaller studios or something. And you do that, and I know Champion Two D Rob does that as well, where they show off kind of like unheard of games or just indie kind of. So yeah. you, sh- I, I really actually appreciate that because you've kind of brought my attention to some of those as well. So oh, thanks, man. I know the. Well, it's actually big up Champion 2D. He um, he was actually one of my biggest inspiration for the the whole indie scene because with with Nintendo, like with with Nintendo now, because they don't really release. I mean, I mean they did, but then there's always massive gaps in between their Nintendo published games. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. there was a massive selection. Um, but by the time I got a Switch, you know those games were released years years before. I only got a Switch, you know, three years I think, three four years ago. Um, so then obviously I missed out on. Uh, the new Mario and all that stuff. I got it anyway. But there's what that's come out today. Um, the, is oh the Wonder. Wonder. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be getting it. Oh, I'm definitely. Yeah, me too. I'm waiting yeah. till payday yeah. to get that. Yeah, yeah, sure. of course. Yeah, I know they're not cheap, are they? I mean, bloody hell, games aren't cheap these days anyway. But yeah, quid, yeah, yeah, I know, I know. It's definitely it's that's got to be worth it. It looks great, right? And come on, um, um, no, yeah. Mario's my my one franchise man that I like. I've played every single one of them, completed every single one of them, like since day still, one. And yeah, I still haven't. Um, I still haven't completed. What was the the launch title on the Switch? I can't remember what it's called now. Uh, the Mario yeah. game Odyssey. Yeah. Odyssey, that's it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I, I'm only on like the third stage, I think, because <laughs> I, oh, I then, that's great. You know, I got, you know, I had because I was, I was so behind. I got that, and I got Zelda. It's, a, it was actually the first lockdown when I, yeah, it was the first lockdown when I got the Switch, but Switch Lite, the smaller, the smaller one. Mm. Uh, that's when I, yeah, so that's when I had Breath of the Wild. Um, so I got, you know, really into that. And then I just kind of veered off of the other games that I had. So, what did you think of Breath of the Wild? Oh, fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Unbelievable. Really good. Guy. Amazing. But I didn't enjoy, I didn't enjoy it, enjoy it as much as I should have done because I didn't have the dock with a game like that. I should have been playing on a TV, you know. So, definitely. Yeah. Don't get me wrong. You are, it's amazing. But if I had it, if I could have played it on the TV, I wish I would because that, that I think I would have been, I would have enjoyed it even more you know i think we're opposite way around because I've, I've had the switch well i'm on my second switch now but i got my first switch on launch day when it first came out with zelda and all that stuff yeah. like 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 most people did yeah. and uh that game was awesome man. and but the thing with me is like i hardly ever played in handheld mode ever like yeah. the jo- my joy con are like still in the plastic wrappers because i don't <laughs> i never used them Oh, yeah. so i just use the uh you know the pro controller thing because i need like a full-size controller like awesome. would you ever consider getting a dock for your switch or or the uh the other switch the the, the full fat word version of it yeah so i i i think after lockdown i i, I waited no i didn't wait i can't remember if I well anyway so i was thinking of getting the normal switch so i could dock it but then the oled came out oh did you get that yeah so i got the oled oh amazing. oh wow what's the screen like on that oh, it's beautiful absolutely beautiful yeah. oh i don't have that one at all no i don't sometimes think i've ever I've seen one in action yeah yeah it's it, sometimes it's even overwhelming because because of, of the colors but um it's yeah it's hard to get used to at first it's like wow it's, but you can actually turn that off you can turn up this, the whatever it is rgb um can't remember what it's called but you can turn that setting off so it looks oh normal. really yeah you can actually change it um but the yeah like the handheld on that is just it's basically as good as playing it on the tv because the screen's bigger yeah it's, it's amazing but even then i actually like you said i i play it mostly on the tv now to be honest with you um i i can take it like on journeys to work i take it on the train now now and again but i always enjoy it more on the tv and i just play with yeah the you know? yeah me too you you were saying um you, your first console was xbox 360 did you say so it, so that what was my very first console so i my it, basically i grew up on so i did i was so my older brother's five years older than me so he pretty much got him and ali got me into gaming um so the very first the very first games i ever played were like broken sword so that was oh that yeah one. point yeah, click yeah yeah that one so were you a pc yeah. gamer first or something pretty basically yeah it was pc and then and then my brother got a playstation um so i remember playing some playstation and i had i don't know i remember having a a mate up the road that had a SNES, um, but I barely remember it. I can't remember exactly game 
we were playing on it but i remember playing that going around his house um and then the n64 so the n the, actually the well yeah so it was the n64 and the gamecube and my very first consoles and ah, dream okay. dreamcast as well so that were yeah. my that was well that's what i grew up on anyway um but my yeah, so what i remember most is is actually the gamecube and then xbox 360 gotcha Gotcha. Yeah, because I don't. Uh, I very rarely meet people um, that kind of mention that their first console that they can like properly remember remember is like an Xbox or something like an Xbox 360, especially. So uh, you must be a bit younger than Ali. I'm Ali, a, I'm guessing. Yeah, I'm, I'm only 33 compared to like I say I'm only, but compared to a lot of I I, I didn't realize like in the you know the game community on YouTube is you know they're they're a lot older. So mine mine they're like in their 40s kind of. Yeah, a lot of them, yeah, yeah. Mine is retro games is awful. I've learned so much though since being on here i've learned loads you know from you yeah. from everyone that goes to everyone for, for absolutely me. same here same here. i've learned a lot from the others as well yeah yeah, yeah. so I, so that yeah so me coming into that i was like oh, i saw that retro game i know nothing about this you know but then i see like people also talk about and collecting modern games and stuff like that so i didn't feel too bad i was like okay so that's great you know i can't do just retro gaming because i wasn't even i didn't even play retro games really you know yeah but you the way i see it with retro games is that they, they, there are people i've uh i've noticed unfortunately not too many in our community but like some people can be quite elitist about it yeah and yeah. kind of gatekeep gatekeeperish about it you are right there yeah. yeah but but the way i see it is you know how like you can enjoy a movie that was made before you were born say like i don't know scarface carlito's way whatever like you know depending on your age i think it's the same with retro games you, you know just because they were made before you were born doesn't mean you can't enjoy them even if it's through emulation if because you might not be able to access the old hardware now or whatever so yeah exactly so i got the i actually got the um sega mega drive classics collection on the switch lots of mm. Just, what do you just, think? But yeah, amazing. amazing. That's why I was saying about your the post you made about um is it Alien Storm, is that what it's called? Alien was it Alien Soldier? Alien Alien Soldier Alien Soldier, that's it. Yeah. Because I oh, gave the uh, the snapshot that I posted. Yeah. 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 So, that, so when I gave that a go, I was like, oh my god, what is this game? Like for, for its age, I was like, this is ridiculously hard. I was like, what this is madness. I was like, what am I what am I playing? So Dude. I actually wanted to do a video on it, but I was like, oh, can I even play this game? Like <laughs> that's like a proper rage quick game. I can imagine you making like a rampage video on that <laughs> I might do it. yeah because that game i played even with all the cheats on <laughs> and it's still really difficult even with all that, the cheats on like yeah <laughs> mental yeah that, yeah I, I launched that i was like what is this this is this is something else but it looks like a great game yeah, it's like, a really expensive oh, game if you were to buy it yeah, it is, yeah i heard i heard yeah 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 yeah. so it's a pricey collectible yeah do you have it you, you don't do you have it yourself no 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 gosh no 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 too bloody expensive i yeah. don't know i don't know how you, what your kind of view is on it but i i <sighs> I don't I don't know how people can spend like a massive fortune on on some of these retro games like you know when you hear about people spending two or three hundred quid on an older game I don't know if you would ever do it would you ever do it like what are your thoughts on that the, so you know what if I really wanted it I would if I really yeah. wanted it, I would because the thing is you and maybe yeah because I I'm I collect for for games that I'm gonna play I don't yeah. collect anything at all or if I can't play because I don't have the console or whatever I'll get I've actually got an example now I've got um I want to start collecting for a full set of GameCube games because I just love the GameCube man that's what I remember a full most. set of GameCube I do want to I do want to yeah I do want and I know, but I people sent to me they they are pricey I didn't realize how pricey they were um I mean I guess you know it's, it's beautiful look at the cases and the two disc sets and the, the, the small discs you know they're, it's amazing if you think about it now now I do yeah. love those little baby discs yeah, that, that used to come on yeah yeah <laughs> so I bought a um I bought a game I bought it was I won't say it now because um I'm planning on doing a video for it, but that was fifty quid. And oh really? You know, That's not too bad. I've, I thought yeah, you were gonna say more, was, yeah. It was but it but is yeah, it's um it's a banging game, you know, a really high highly rated game. But GameCube I, 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 game, did you say? GameCube game, yeah. yeah. GameCube game, but I I didn't think it would be that much, you know. I knew it was pop but I didn't think it was even that popular, but I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just yeah, but like like I say, like I I, I loved that game so much. And I would never, I never even thought I was going to start collecting. But I think I've got the bug now. So I, you know, I started collecting physical games, and now I think I'm just going to veer off into actually collecting maybe, yeah, like retro kind of retro collecting. Games. 
collecting games now. But yeah, yeah so like I say, it's it's I'm, I'm not I don't I won't collect just for just to collect. So if I give it, like you say, if there's a game that's 300, 400 quid, well, maybe not that much, but I don't know how much I'm willing to spend maximum, maybe 300 maximum, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So on the GameCube, other than that one that you won't name at the moment, like what other games did you used to enjoy playing on? Because when you said full set, I'm thinking, okay, this guy must have some kind of love for this system or some kind of experience with it or something, you know. My memory is so bad. Zelda, obviously. Um, it was, I had so many games. Like I think it was even like the NBA Street games. They were great. oh yeah, they were brilliant. Um, Zelda's. I can't really remember. To me. I had so I had so many, but my memory is so bad. My memory is so my memory of that past is awful. You know, I could like I did have a lot of games, but I can't remember all of them. Um, but I just remembered loving loving that system. Was that that pretty much that and the N sixty four? Because it was kind of shared between me and my brother. So yeah, shared all the consoles, but the GameCube was my console. Mm. Uh, but yeah, my memory awful. I think Tony Hawk. I think Tony Hawk was one of them. Yeah, Tony Hawk, yeah. Tony Hawk Pro Skater was. I love that. That was brilliant. Yeah, I, I used to play the hell out of two and three so yeah. much, man. Yeah. I think I had a what was it? Was it a Sony CRT, like a grey one box? Um, I think that was. I think that was the screen I had. And then yeah, I remember that. I remember Tony. Yeah, Tony Hawk Pro Skater clearly. Uh, Zelda, the NBA Streets, um, and then the got the game that I got. And then what else was there? There were some other RPGs, but I can't really remember. All. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so like with your with your like collecting goals. Like, do you uh, have like some kind of boundary for yourself, or is it just you're just going to go for as many as you can go, or do you have like a, a number you had in mind, or like because this is the stuff I'm always quite interested in with people because everyone seems to have their own thing. Like, uh, you know how you see some YouTubes how they got like an entire wall behind them covered in like shelves of games, and and then some people only want like about ten or something. So where do you kind of fall on that that wide spectrum? Man, it's hard. Like I say, I want to collect for a full set of GameCube, but because the thing is i i don't really know um i'm 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 kind of i'm an all or nothing person that's the thing so you got an addictive personality yeah 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 proper that's that's the thing that's so there there'll be games that there's games that i want to have you know that that I, that I love but then what's the point of just having that if i'm going to collect you know so i'm, I'm thinking of just getting a, getting a full set but i can't the thing is if there's going to be a game that's going to stop me it's going to be because of the price you know it's i can't you know how much can you spend on one game you know what i mean it's like where do you stop you know yeah i was looking at that paper mario and gamecube that one in That's cex what... is like 110 quid 120 yeah, quid or something. i couldn't believe it i could not believe it that that that's a game that i've made that i didn't even finish it because i actually got that got really that was a really difficult game that was a really hard game that that got, i got stuck on like a boss somewhere or something um i couldn't complete it oh so and you I, had it back in the day yeah yeah i did have it that was that was that was that, that was the original that paper Mario on the gamecube i had and then because ali had it as well and he got stuck at the same point but he actually managed to finish it i, rem- I don't know why i remember that it's really weird i just remember that for some reason that conversation that i had with him because uh, it got really difficult but yeah I had that and yeah I, I can't believe i can't believe how well to be honest i can kind of believe it i guess because it's a it's a mario game ain't it you know it's gonna be especially for game it's gonna be pricey but that i'm too honest with you i don't that's i don't think that's that too bad 110 quid i mean that's crazy that you can say that that anyone could even think that now like, <laughs> you know it is yeah i mean yeah 110 quid for such an old game but it was we- a great We've yeah. been beaten into like submission, into like accepting and just oh, you know just accepting these prices now. No, yeah, exactly. What choice do we have? What choice do we have? You know, it's like. But even have you seen even? Um, I mean, it's, this is this isn't retro, but the super. Well, it was it was retro. The Super Mario is it 3D All Stars on the Switch? Have you seen the price of that in CEX? Oh my gosh! How much is it in CEX now? I think it's sixty eight quid. I think something like that. I think yeah, it's ridiculous. That's not too bad because I've seen it on Amazon. Amazon sells it for over a hundred quid, like a hundred and twenty no. quid or something. Yeah, if you go on Amazon UK what? right now, it's there. Like I saw it on a random search a couple of days ago. It's like one hundred and twenty-eight or something like that. Hey, I don't know. I don't understand why that's why that's so expensive. I, I think it was like a limited run type thing. Uh, it was like uh, they stopped printing yeah. them very quickly. Yeah, that must be. That's obviously why. Then I didn't know that. I didn't. Yeah. Why would they? Because apparently the game actually. Did you have you played it on Switch? Oh, I've got it. Yeah, I've really? got it. Does it run all right? Do you think it's all right? I mean, I, I've heard otherwise. I've heard it runs. It, I've heard it's pretty bad. So when it comes to like emulation, is, so th- those aren't enhanced editions or anything no. by any means. They're just like straight emulated versions uh, running on the Switch. And to be honest with you, they're not. I mean, look, if you're a casual gamer, 
you ain't going to notice the difference. You're just going to play it. You're going to enjoy it. But because I've played, like, especially with Galaxy, I've played that game a trillion times and you can notice some of the the inconsistencies. Yeah. Like, it's not emulated 100%. Like, you'd think because Nintendo has all the, the code and all the back end and everything, you would have thought that they would have been best positioned to make, like, a really polished copy of it. But it just, the whole thing just felt like a really quick job just to, I don't know if it was released for an anniversary or something. I don't know what the reason for it was, but it was just kind of really slapdash put together really. Yeah, it might have, yeah, like, yeah. It might have been a quick moneymaker thing, maybe for in between. I, I didn't realize it was just a, a, I didn't know it was just a straight emulation at first. I, I was looking it up and thinking, why is it so expensive? It's got to be because it's a, what is it, a remake? What is it, you know? But then when I it's heard. It's not even a remake. No. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't. So when I heard, then I was even wondering, I was even more wondering why it was so expensive. I'm thinking, what? If it's yeah. that bad, why is it so? Do you know what I mean? It's madness. Yeah, if you can find yourself a sealed copy for a cheap price, it might be a decent investment. If anything, to be honest, I'm probably going to start looking now. No, you said yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> well, Suddenly, that. that 128 on Amazon doesn't <laughs> sound so bad. Yeah, that's crazy. I didn't know that. It's mad. So expensive. Yeah. So, have you moved away from Xbox altogether? Are you still Xboxing on the side, or what's your, what's the deal with that? Uh, so when see, I completely forgot that I even still had the console. The, the one. <laughs> The one I know, I completely forgot I had it. Um, I've I've even got the the I've even got the box for it still. So I've kept all the packaging. Yeah, I put it away ages ago when I moved into my flat. This was five years ago. Um, and then I obviously I was playing it when I moved in, and then and then I was just really struggling with time and gaming and stuff, and I was getting into the gym life and things like that. And then um, when it was before lockdown, kind of you know I was like kind of veering off of it, and then and then lockdown happened, and I was like, well, I'm I'm just gonna get the switch. Was the switch which light came out and I was like it's really cheap for what it is you know it looks great I tried it out in the shop they even let me try and have a look so I thought I'll get that and then yeah th- I put the Xbox away and just completely forgot about it I put it away and then last um two years ago I think it was or last Christmas last Christmas yeah two years ago two years ago two Christmas yeah. ago I-, I was like I'm sure I've still got the Xbox I'm sure I've still got it somewhere I, ca- I couldn't remember if I sold it or not if I tried to get it in it's how bad my memory is so then I-, I found it I was like oh my god I'm gonna set this bad boy up so I said it because it's still a re- it's so- the one X is even though it's like six seven years old it is still one of the most powerful consoles because it's for it was 4k gaming when it came yeah. out it's, and, and when it, it still out, run well yeah oh man it's, it's yeah like, i'm new it's it's amazing it's it's, it's unbelievable you know there's, there's there's not really any need to get the new the new xbox when you've got this you know it's almost, does it run new games or does it not run new games see that, that's where they started changing things so they started um they're gonna stop making um so the new for the new consoles they're going to stop making it so you can't run those games on the previous consoles unfortunately so that's why so then i just i took it out as i was like, right i'm going to play it again um so i started actually buying games to chris you know two years ago um and then yes yeah, so i started playing that and i was like oh man like I'm not used to playing these big, massive games anymore because of the Switch and the Switch is, you know, no load, you know, no hardly any loading times. There's a lot of, it's mainly a lot of indie titles on the Switch. Um, they don't always release, you know, big, massive games all the time. It's not like these 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 consoles, you know. And I was like, I can't really. So I started playing it. I was like, Am I really gonna? get into this that is the reason and the reason why it came back why i put it away in the first place came back i was like nah i was, I've got i can't I, I, I can't i don't know how people that you know all, most of the gamers or a lot of people on you on on the tubes game community can have time to play multiple consoles as i can't it's crazy i don't know how they get the time to do it and make Mate. content and make content <laughs> like, what dude I've said this a trillion times to anyone that will listen, like, especially if you're a YouTuber or if you make YouTube videos, you'll understand. But I can only do one thing or the other. I can only make videos or I can only play games. Like, I can't do both. Um, the only time I ever play games is when I'm capturing footage for a video. That's literally the only time. And uh, But whenever I do just, like, relax and play whatever on the big TV, like PlayStation or Switch or whatever, I'm sitting there feeling guilty thinking I should be making a video. I don't know if you ever get that or if you ever feel anything like that. Oh, yeah, I mean, there yeah, all the time. Yeah, I get that completely. It's like, yeah, because I think once you start getting into the creating content thing, it's like it's always in the back of your mind. That's the thing. Once you once you get on the tubes, there's no going back, really, is there? There's no going back. So, so, no, you know, no. It's like the thing, I'm. Cause I keep saying to myself, I'm planning on. I need to start actually playing games now, and that is why I'm going to start. I'm thinking of doing new content of me actually playing games, so I can actually mm. so I can actually play games again. Because uh, I've had no no time since I got you know I got nominated for YouTube of the month, and then 
I, I could barely, I, I can barely put out one video a week. You know, it's it's really hard. So it's a real work day job. You know, most of us as yeah, well. Pretty much so, all of us. Yeah. You're lucky if you can do the YouTube thing full time. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's so difficult. And you know, unless you you've got all you, this is where like part of me wish that actually worked kind of like a shift work pattern. You know, because then you would have you could actually have like times to play games and make content. You know what I mean? But then there's like it. Then there's always ups and downs with that. You know, you you either work in like in sociable hours or whatever with shift work. So then like, but it, yeah it's really hard like you know um, what are you working all day and i'm trying to do I, I, i'm trying to do videos on my phone like in between on breaks or whatever and after work and that is why i do my content i, I edit everything on my phone iphone because then i can do it anywhere anytime yeah, yeah. talk yeah. me through that process man because i remember when you were uh, when you mentioned it first to me i was there because because with your videos uh like you have a lot of special effects in your videos like fire yeah. and <laughs> background you change your backgrounds and you do all sorts of stuff like consider you've only been on the scene for a for a short like a v- incredibly short while like uh compared to your peers you, you like the special effects and the, the 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 editing you do in your videos is is incredibly ambitious and uh and so i remember asking you way back like think asking you like are you like an editor or something is that what you do for like a for like a day job or something and you said you'd never done this ever before in your life yeah so yeah like how, tell me about your process like from start to end like how, how does that go for you i've always i've always, I feel like even from way back the photoshop days you know i've always liked editing or creating in some sort of way anyway like from way back um and then obviously work life came in and blah 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 um so i've always had kind of some sort of experience and i work on computers anyway so i'm i'm uh, no were you in it or something uh, so well no so I, work, I actually work for um an awarding body but i'm always like in education um so i'm always it's actually all all my work is on a, on a computer anyway and i have to use like several crazy complicated systems sometimes and so i'm always kind of savvy in that way like tech savvy in that way so and where i've used other editing software in the past like photoshop and um, illustrator and things like that kind of i can learn quite quickly with it so and then when so on the iphone and I actually I haven't had an iPhone for that long to be honest with you uh, when did I first get one I think it was like six years ago or something probably not even that actually um, and I didn't realise how powerful they really were you know they're so powerful it's literally like having you don't even need a, a laptop or a computer or anything you can just do everything on an iPhone it's unbelievable and then when I was looking up editing software when I first started because I actually when I first started YouTube and the GirlTuber thing and it started learning to edit I was doing everything on iMovie and that was so painful so painful it was like it's, it's so hard to edit on that and you can't do any effects really on it is this i is this iMovie on the iphone yeah on the iphone yeah yeah oh is it not is it not good uh is it not a good app no it's 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 very basic from what i remember when i first when i first tried it i think it's just very basic and i think there's yeah you can't get all the effects that i've that i've done after girl tuber like my other content like with the backgrounds things like that. i don't think you can do that on iMovie on the iphone although can yeah. you do it on the laptop i don't know i have no idea because i thought you were using like after effects or something to to, to yeah. that or something so i was using so i was using iMovie for the girl and stuff but when i started creating all the crazy stuff I, i'm using a, a app called video leap um on the iphone so i was trying i was messing around like, i was learning all the effects on it and what you can do on it before i started putting stuff out um and then yeah i was like this is unbelievable like i can i can just easily do this on the phone you know and it, how fast the app is a like, video leap that's what it's called and that is if anyone i re- highly recommend it if anyone's doing it, any stuff on an, on an iphone for editing because it is what it, what it can do is unbelievable for a, for an app i've never even heard of the app gosh mm. yeah they have like a whole suite they've got like a yeah it's all like leap at the end of it it's like photo leap so they've got like a whole suite like the um you know image editing and they've even got animation they've got like a whole package you can get um but yes yeah, for what it can do is and there's also an app called CapCut. CapCut is really good that is brilliant Cap- cut app cut yeah that's oh, great. Right. but that but it's it's all about like the 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 ui on it though like the like it's cap cut is i find it, it cap cut is hard i find it hard to use because of the interface you know it's like yeah. it's like it's kind of it reminded me of iMovie it's really difficult i don't know what it is it's really difficult to navigate on it's really difficult to to, to cut and layer and stuff like that but with video leap it's it is so easy it's so easy you know and is it's, it smooth or is it like laggy kind of like you uh, know, sometimes it, like... It, <laughs> so this is this is this is all this is a downside to doing it on I think that's the downside to doing an iPhone. I've never tried to do using Video Leap on or any kind of 
any on software on a Mac or a computer, these two, these two softwares anyway. But the more crazy effects and the more complicated your project is, it does lag. It does. Oh, it does. Uh-huh. It does lag. It starts to lag, but then like, yeah. So a lot of times I've had to like quit it and go back in and stuff like uh... that. Because it was just like, it just gets really, it gets choppy and it's like, oh man. And then that does your, have- your videos with all the fire effects and all that is, it must your battery must die quick, yeah, surely. Yeah, oh, that, yeah, that's another downside as well. It just it drains the hell out of it. Drains the hell out of it. You can, you, if you do, if you do it for like even maybe like an hour, an hour, I think your phone would die. I think, I think it maybe just goes about dying, you know. So yeah, it depends. It depends on, but even even if that's without any of the effects, I think just using it in general, it just drains your battery. Any kind of editing, even if it's simple editing on a on an image or whatever on an iPhone, it just drains it. It just drains it. We need to get you like a tablet or a or a laptop or something uh, man. You know what? so yeah i was actually thinking of maybe an an i maybe an i don't know a tablet or something maybe i might look into it i'll see could be a could be a christmas present <laughs> might yeah into- forget that um forget that expensive gamecube you can pick up a, a tablet yeah, exactly. or a laptop instead or yeah, something exactly. yeah because because you're so it's, it's it's actually been quite nice watching your kind of progress and your journey on um on youtube because uh obviously you came out of nowhere doing these incredibly dense you know, videos where there's like loads of cuts, loads of imaginative violence in them and whatnot, pushing the boundaries. Not, I mean, it's a, it's an achievement that your channel's not been shut down, which is fantastic. But I've seen like how over the last few months, you've kind of uh, started transitioning into, you know, taking it a bit more seriously and doing stuff that is uh, yeah, I'm, a bit that, more that meaningful is, for your channel yeah, and whatnot. That's the thing. Like, I really, I, I've, lo- I've realized how much I'm really enjoying it. I really enjoy doing it as well. I really enjoy editing, like, and creating you know and i'm all or nothing so i've kind of like been sucked in and i'm just like if i'm gonna do this i, I just want to i want to put up just put in a hundred i just i don't know when to stop that's the problem you know so i don't always know when to stop so i'm always like doubting myself and second guessing and just sometimes it takes me ages to do stuff because i'm always like nitpicking and stuff like that and i'll just come what kind of stuff are you nitpicking just like <sighs> cutting out any boring bits any just like effects and how can it be better how can it always want to be it always needs to be different from my other so the next video has to be different from my previous video in some way you yeah, know so yeah. I always want to change something that's where it just gets complicated and i just i know if i just then i'll just end up giving up and then just publishing it because otherwise i won't stop you know it's like it's one of those things that someone said to me the other day is um what's that saying an artist never finishes his painting, whatever it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. I was thinking the exact realize. same thing. But yeah, yeah, just then it, it, yeah. yeah, then it made me realise, right, I've definitely got to know when to stop then. You know, otherwise it just yeah. doesn't. Do, do you have anyone like does your other half or anything like tell you when to stop or do, do, does she review your work or anything <laughs> like, oh it's on your phone you're always, on it. You're always on it but that i mean she's the same she can't say she's this is one of those tiktok things you know this is oh no she loves it yeah she's always she's like me though we're both the same we're always on our phones so that's what <laughs> makes it easy that's what makes it easier just me sitting there but she's, she's like sometimes she's like why are you still on your phone I'm like you can talk this is like i'm not on my phone all the time and like it's just it's such a hypocrite I'm like, literally say, she'll say that and then go back on tiktok that's what makes me <laughs> laugh i'm like this is come on now but yeah it doesn't make me feel so bad so we just basically like probably like most couples these days just sit there on the sofa you know the tv on and you're just sitting there scrolling for your phone kind of and then having a conversation here and there and then you know what i mean <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure my wife's upstairs right now with the dog uh, on her phone right now. Yeah. Be- be- I would bet you money yeah, right now. <laughs> <laughs> she would see my name flash on screen and she would ignore it just to carry on watching the videos, probably. <laughs> oh, brilliant! Yes. So how, how did you get uh, roped into uh, to YouTuber of the month? What happened there, man? Oh gosh, YouTuber of the month. You've been on YouTube for like less than two years or less than a year and a half, and you're already getting YouTuber of the month. That's amazing. I couldn't couldn't believe it. It was, um, it was so Mark when so Mark goes blind gaming got nominated. Um, so I met Mark through GurfTuber, the Mm. the first GurfTuber competition. That's when I came on, and and he's hilarious. His stuff's great. Um, so he, so yeah, he got nominated for YouTuber of the month and won the month. Um, it was I can't remember the exact month now. It was in the summer, just gone, and he won it. Um, and I'm thinking, well, I could, this could be a possibility where I could get nominated in my yeah. mind. That. But then I was thinking, well, do I really want to do that anyway? Like, do I, you know, what, what can I do? I've got no, like, no co- real content except for the, when I first started with the Ghost Trooper stuff. So that's when I thought, right, I, I mean, I wanted to make content anyway, and this, you know, proper gaming content anyway, uh, better content. 
um, regardless of of the YouTube of the month. So I thought, well, this is actually my time now to actually start making proper content. So that's what I started doing. And then I kind of started with like um, a lot of uh, community challenge, like a lot of game the challenges. So like time trials, blah blah blah. Getting involved with like Razor's retros challenges and um, officially captures challenges and things like that. So that's when I started the streets of streets of rage, streets of rampage challenges, and then. I was doing that and I was, I thought, well, this, this, how it, I, I could start with my gaming content with this. And then I think of more ideas to, to start doing. And then it was, yes, yeah, so it's main, mainly been challenges really. And making like crazy edits in, in that way, trying to make it something entertaining. Um, that's what I want to really do anyways, focusing on, be, you know, I don't want to make boring videos, you know, I don't want to just be another person just talking about a game in front of the camera. Uh, it's not sure, what, sure. You know sure. I mean, I just, not not dissing anyone that does that, but that's not. I'm I'm really bad in front of the camera. Like I'm I'm awful. Like I can't. I never got that impression at all. To be honest, you seem so confident in front that's, of the camera. That's that's only because I've because of the live streams I've been on. The more I've done, it's just like it's become a lot easier and getting to know. Yeah. People, obviously, speaking more to people and getting to know people because before I didn't know anyone. When I first did my like, I think it was a very first live stream with Goldtooth, who I hardly ever spoken to before. Like in just one, just just me and him. So when I first did that very first live stream of announcing Ali as the winner of the Curve Trooper, I was like, I was actually getting drunk because I was like, but I was getting drunk anyway because I think it was a Thursday night. Oh yeah, perfect night. I get pissed, whatever. And then um, yeah, so I was getting drunk just to calm my nerves really as well. So I was like, I was, I didn't really know what to say. I was hardly, I think I was hardly speaking at all during that stream. But um, yeah, so ever since then, and then doing more, getting in more streams with Ali and everyone else, and doing my own streams. Um, that I just got used to it. I think I just got used to it, and then um, I can't remember what I was talking about now. What was the what was the, what was the question? Um, YouTuber of the month. Yes, that's it. YouTuber of the month. Right. Yeah. So <laughs> that was great. I was actually yeah, yeah. You, you carried me along with you on that tangent. I loved it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So and then, yeah. So then I started. Yes, it was mainly challenge videos, making create. Yes, yeah, so just making making them really good as it, as it can be to something different for the community, but involving gaming. Um, and it was retro gaming really which i never re- actually before i started doing the streets of race stuff that was the first time i ever played the very first i emulated it on my iphone the very first streets of rage because you can get it on the app store it's free so, i think as well isn't it free yeah it's, it's free yeah. but it's got well it, it's free but it's only got ads at the start so there's no ads yeah. in the actual gameplay i thought yeah, there was yeah. so i bought it it was only like three quid two quid or something like that but i didn't realize so because when i did the second one I downloaded because they've only got one and two, they don't have three. So they've got so I downloaded the second one. I thought, right, let me for this for that trial for the second one. So I tried that out on the free one, and there was no ads in between the gameplay. I'm thinking, what an idiot. I could have just not even paid for the first one. But anyway, it's only a few quid. <laughs> yeah, so I know if that actually gave me a chance to actually play the OG games as well at the same time. So that, and then that that's what pushed me to get the Sega Mega Drive Classics collection on the Switch. So I could actually experience the old is you know, is Streets Rage three on that then? Y- yeah, it's a one, yeah, one to three's on that. Yeah, yeah. I I thought three was really bad. I thought three was crap. At first, it's... when I first played Pain, I thought this is brilliant. This is this is like this is crazy. But then, then when I kept playing it, I thought, no, this is actually a bit pants. Like this is, a bit, I don't know. It's a, it's got an interesting story with that one because uh, I've mentioned it on the pod before with I think Champion Two D or something. But Streets of Rage Three, the Western version, is actually like a really gimped version of it. Ah. It's the the Japanese version is the the one with all the uncut content and it has a much better story and much better like if you can play a, a translated version of the japanese rom they're available online but that's just uh it's just better uh, it's street story 3 is actually my favorite one out of a lot i know a lot of people say 2 2 is a fantastic game but i think it's because 3 was like the first one that i owned personally yeah. And it was actually, it was just all a happy, really happy accident. I was out in India somewhere at a market in India, and they had like a pirate copy of Streets of Rage 3, the Japanese version. Oh boy, I had no idea what it was. But that was the one that I got addicted to. And then, and it has more moves as well. Like you can run in that game as well as the character. You yeah. can run and then attack. Yeah. You, is it? There's loads of things like that. It's got a much. I think the story is really cool, but yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it changed in that way. Like it was, yeah, and the running, yeah. the run, the running game um, at the, of that is really good. Like that was wicked. Yeah. Like, but I can understand why you didn't like it. Didn't like it because like the Western version is just it's dreadful, man. Yeah, I didn't know it was. I didn't know it was completely different to 
the, the Japanese version. See if I, I I should have emulated it on. I would have I would have, for that challenge. I would have just emulated it on online or something. If I, knew I think that. you're. Um, I mean, I I might be wrong, but I, I might be totally wrong. But there's a little part. Of, I might be misremembering this, but I think the collection might have each region's version on it. So you might be able to switch mm-hmm. between the the different versions because I know the Mega Drive yeah. Classic. You know the little physical Mega Drive Classic that came out yeah. that yeah. has each region's version on it so i wonder if the disc altar has it i'll have to have a look oh, that's good to know that because all i knew which i didn't i didn't know before i played it or anything really is that the yeah the the western one is is it easier than the japanese one or is it the other way around it's harder it's harder yeah yeah the japanese one is easier see i didn't know that because john bundy uh mentioned it because when i said i oh, we're doing the we're going to do it as a series and then three will be the next one after two and he was like oh but which version are you going to play it's like what do you mean it's a good question I, I, yeah i didn't know that it was a thing i didn't know and i didn't, I didn't realize there were totally different games either yeah it's yeah it was only years later when i played the western version like in the early 2000s when i played it, i was like this is this is not this is not <laughs> right this is something's not right here yeah oh, so bad. but that yeah it, so it was creating that and then just trying to make um because obviously with my name the rampage talk i thought well streets of rage i could change it to streets of rampage you know so that was like the perfect challenge or you know cr- videos i could put out with the, with that kind of name name change before that, that's quite cool so i'll do that and then make will you put cool. rampage in everything like will you replace a word with rampage in every game <laughs> I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it depends if it goes well. If it goes well, I will. But it, it depends, like, on, yeah, depends what game I'm playing, I guess. Like, I, I wouldn't be able to do, like, you know, Zelda of Rampage. <laughs> you know what I mean? Something like that. The Legend of Rampage. There the we go. Of Rampage. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the hell is this? But yeah, so I just got off that was perfect. So I started doing that and putting all the, more content of you know, the challenges out. Um, and then. I thought if I do, so then I was doing that anyway. I didn't think I'd, I completely forgot about YouTuber of the month and since Mark won a few months back. And then Drinks and Games with Josh uh, nom- uh, messaged me saying, oh, you know, get ready to be nominated for YouTuber of the month. That's all he said. I thought, no. I thought, to, but then I did, but the thing is, I forgot about it. And I thought, well, I don't really want to be nominated. And then when he said, why that, did you want to be nominated? I don't know. I, just, I didn't think, I didn't think I, my, I, 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 I didn't think my content was great at all. You know, it, 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 compared to, if you compare my stuff to, you know, at the time to so many other channels that and YouTube of the month, I didn't realize it's been going on for so long. I did, I had no idea. You know? Nah, man, I think your content is great. You, you're the stuff you, I mean, I don't mean to sound disrespectful to other people, but the stuff that the, the time and effort you've put into your edits is like significantly higher than most folks do. Like, thanks, like that man. in itself, like it warrants some kind of recognition, I think. Oh, thanks, man. This is the thing, like it's, then I'll, then, uh, you know, then I'm thinking, oh, but okay, I'm putting effort into it. But then a lot of people are just liking pickups videos, you know, it's like, so I'm just thinking, well, is my stuff really good? You know, it's like it, are people going to vote for me. You know, if people are going to, I'm, a, I'm a, you know, people that have won YouTube of the month is like, they're crazy channels. Some of them, you know, it's like their content is, is brilliant and and it's not like my type my style that i do a video so i'm thinking of, am i really gonna get anywhere in it is, is there any, any point in me doing it so when i got nominated i was like right i've got to think i've got to do something wild to to get people's attention you know so that's when i started doing those it's my first the first video the, so i thought i've got to do promo videos you know i can definitely do something really funny for that so that's when i had this the idea of asking the random people of telling random you know what do you think about i've been nominated for youtuber of the month that was so good man that was that was a genius comedy video i loved it so Thank much man. <laughs> <laughs> so then I was because that weekend was it was just if it, it was just perfect when I got nominated because that weekend I was going out. Um, it was I was going to a engagement, uh, no, a wedding anniversary party, and I was actually I wasn't in London. I was going to Brighton for it, so yeah, I was on the road and stuff. Drive the drive down and all that stuff. Well, this, this is actually he couldn't have nominated. A, I couldn't be nominated at a better time because I could have that that he nominated me. I think it was during the week before that weekend. So it was only a few days before. I thought this is perfect because I can. I had this the idea of doing that filming it just going up to random people on my just on my phone and i was like this this is the perfect so like it, literally a few days after i can get this out straight away the Wait, so, so, for, so for, just rewinding a little bit so for someone that hasn't watched this video just describe describe it to the story <laughs> yeah because <laughs> so, they probably so, don't know what the hell we're talking about right now <laughs> i uh yeah so i put in the public on the spot 
about no no it was mainly to me t- saying saying to people i've been nominated random people the public i've been nominated for youtuber of the month what was your thoughts on that and just just seeing what people would say you know it was, it was very risky but if i look like so if someone looked like they would be up for just saying something i'll just i'll just ask them you know and it was just like yeah it, i had to grow a massive pair to do it as well i was like i can't i i I just think because i was so happy to be at the same time i thought well if i'm going to be nominated if i'm going to do it i'll i I need to think of like really good promo videos at least to get extra content out during that month i thought well i I just because the things i i I don't really care anyway i I don't i mean i'm i'm not i'm a shy person in some situations but when it comes to things like that i just don't care like because i I know i'm not i'm not being rude and i know a lot of people don't want to be filmed as well which is part which is risky but if if someone looked like they'll be all right and then i would just ask them you know i'll just just go up to them anyway so as i i was so happy to be because when i had that idea of course i was so happy to be nominated i was like i was just that week i was just ecstatic i was i couldn't think of any i couldn't stop thinking about it so i was just doing it without even thinking you know i was just filming people without even thinking so i just and the more i did it's just like oh i just don't care now i'm just gonna just do it you know so did did anyone like react badly when you asked them in public did what did any go south well, yeah. so i asked the cex guy a cex staff guy and he, he asked me to delete it delete the video really? fair play <laughs> yeah. fair play because yeah, it, like, oh. it was really funny because he was uh, like trying to hide from the camera when i, when I got the phone out <laughs> his face his, his reaction was so funny it was like uh, uh then i said it and he's like he went oh really <laughs> I stopped and then because i was actually looking at games anyway um and then i stopped it and then like he kind of was carrying on showing me the games and then was like oh can you actually delete that please <laughs> so I was like, oh, oh, fair play. Was hide, hide from the camera <laughs> fair play fair play <laughs> Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it was. Risky. So you didn't get punched or shouted at. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, I didn't, I didn't want to. Yeah, so I was really checking people out that weren't gonna, that weren't gonna stab me. Or something, <laughs> something. Nah, no, nah, I've got to be careful here. You know, got to be careful. But yeah, I once I started asking a few people, it was like, yeah, I just that was it. You know, it was like after after a few, but then it came to a point where I, well, I can't do anymore. Like I, I had to get in when I, what I thought was a good number that would be enough for a, a long enough video. Do you know what I mean? So I had to, I, had to, I just kept going. Like it was from the Friday, it was all weekend. It was like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, that took a few days to do. <laughs> yeah, and then the Sunday it was like I asked what I think I asked one more person on the Sunday, which was the guy with his top off. Um, that was the last guy I did. I think no, no, there was another guy at the bus stop. The last day was the last guy. Um, because actually on, on that Sunday I thought no, I'm going to stop now. I can't do this anymore. Like I've, I've that's got to be enough for a video. But now I was watching it back. I was like, some people's reactions aren't that great. So then I carried on on the Monday. <laughs> I carried on. You did so. Carried on. I just came back. I was like, do you know what? I'm, I'm just. I, I've just got to do it. I've just got to do it. After after a good sleep and a good ses- rest, I was like, right. I couldn't stop thinking about it. So I was like, I'm just gonna carry on. <laughs> See how far. You I just can. needed more B-roll for your videos. On that. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. I, it, it was to make the video as well. So I had to suck it up and just carry on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the finished edit was hilarious. Like the way you put it. So obviously, getting the footage of one thing, but then telling a story through the edit is that's probably the harder thing. Yeah. That is very difficult. Yeah, that's why sometimes it takes me ages to get content out because you have to. It's all just cutting up, you know, it's chopping everything up, and it's being smart about it. And uh, yeah, I, I, it, yeah, because I couldn't. Because when I was do, when I put it all together, I was like, I can't really put this out because it's not really. It's just you know, it's boring without any kind of music or any something. Because I always like to add cutaways in my videos, like some, some something funny, you know. So I was just that's why I started that in between doing the dancing with the devil and just like the hands in. in just small little bits in between just to make it better in that way yeah you know? but uh, yeah it was difficult it was difficult i thought it'd be a really quick video to do but it didn't end up being that quick so <laughs> mate it was hilarious man and then you uh you ended up winning it as well yeah i know i know yeah it was i couldn't do the, the uh samantha azira who who she was fighting me like crazy man and she was she's a big channel as well she, she's she reached she reached over a thousand subs now but at the time she was at i think 800 or something like that so she was yeah she was a much bigger channel than me i've only got you know 100 and something at the time i thought you had more than that yeah I've, well, I've got what have i got now 174 or something like that now but at the time i had like i don't know was it 150 or something like that um so i thought there was no chance there was no chance but then i just yeah everyone was big up everyone that nominated for me 
you know, go to for yourself, everyone, Ali, so many names. I can't even, I can't, you know, there's so many people, um, family and friends. Uh, and then I was just like, right. I was, as it was, the month was going through, I was looking at the folks and thinking, I'm, I, I could stand a chance. But then Sa- Sam, Sam Azira came in and just, just was annihilating me. I was like, oh no, I like, there's no way. And then uh, Marathon Gaming was in Belgium at the time. He was doing a race and he he was like, right, I've got three more coming your way. I was like, no way. Because you have to have a, um, to be eligible to vote, you have to have a YouTube, for YouTube of the month. To be able to vote, you have to have a, a, a active YouTube account for a minimum of three months. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So if, no, you don't want fake accounts for that. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's the thing. So it was really difficult to to keep asking people because I don't, I you know, it, it comes to a limit where you're like, well, I don't know so that many people that can have YouTube YouTube accounts you know but yeah and then after that it was like then goal two started getting votes for me and it was just like then i was like right i could stand a chance here there's more votes were coming in and i was i just kept asking people that i really wanted to, i did actually really want to win it i did really want to win it in the end you know <laughs> yeah did you and samantha become mates or anything yeah i mean it, she her content's great yeah she i, I still I, I still watch her content now um yeah so i mean it was yeah i think she yeah she actually said kindly enough she said um oh because on the the this month's nomination because when you win you have to then nominate five other people so when i did my video for it and she was like oh she actually commented on uh the real bit wars channel saying oh congratulations um talk uh you really fought for it and i was like oh then i replied back saying yeah you, you really put up a fight <laughs> I'm going to do a video. When I do my thank you video, I'm going to mention her and just say, you know, she was relentless. She was You should relentless. get her to jump on it as a little mini collab. Yeah, I should. A cameo that's appearance or something. Yeah. That's a good idea. I'm going to do that. I'm going to ask her. I'm going to reach out. <laughs> Olive branch. <laughs> Maybe do that with all the uh, nominees, get them yeah. to do like a little re- a little section for it or something. Yeah. You wasn't, you was, you was just hot. You was out of order. For, for win- just as a, as a joke cameo. That's a good idea, man. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So, uh, dude, I know I've taken up uh, like a lot of your time this evening, man. I was oh. gonna, uh, I was gonna ask you um, the same question I kind of ask every uh, every YouTuber that jumps on on this. So if Tolk is uh, stranded in hell, <laughs> yeah, he's there for uh, he's there for a, a short period of time. As you know, he's, right he's stuck. He's stuck in hell forever. Yeah, um, I'm here right now. And- <laughs> Yeah, I'm, where you are I'm right boiling, now. I'm boiling hot. I've got the windows <laughs> open. You know, just, I'm on fire. I mean, you just can't see. I'm on fire. <laughs> yeah, I can see the red behind uh, you, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so you're stuck in hell, right? And you're allowed to take three video game systems with you. And then on each of those three video game systems, you're allowed to take three games per system. So what does the Rampage Talk take into the depths of hell for eternity with them? Okay. Oh, that is that is three. Okay, so we say I'll start with Xbox 360. I would say Max Payne 2. Oh, uh, interesting. Sorry, okay. Max Payne 3. Sorry, Max Payne 3. That's a quality <laughs> game. I really I love that, that game. Yeah. I think it's so underrated. I don't know, but I yeah. don't know if, I don't know if it's underrated or just not talked about enough. I thought it's brilliant. It's like a film, isn't it? The way they've done it, the edit that it's amazing. Yeah. Yeah, I've got that on PC. On the, I think it's fantastic. Yeah, yeah. PCs, but yeah, on PC it'd be a lot better. But it was, I thought it was brilliant. Like I actually rate that higher than the GTA games. To be honest with you, I mean, interesting. It may be not GTA Five, but it. I think it's outstanding. I think Rockstar did like a, it was amazing, man. The way they did that is like because they it's kind of like a film but a game at the same time. If like anyone hard boiled film yeah, noir type yeah. thing, yeah, that's yeah. what it was like. That's what it was like. Amazing. I want them to make a four now. You know, it's about time. They, they should they should have carried that on. But I think yeah, I wonder why they, they dropped it. Yeah. yeah, it's really strange. Hopefully they will. I don't know. They're very secretive, like Nintendo. So who knows? Yeah, yeah. Know. You just gave me flashbacks to that last bit on the airport runway when you're oh, yeah. chasing on the airport. <laughs> Yeah. So oh, there's so many, so many good bits in that. The graveyards, the the symmetry scenes, the oh, yeah, yeah, everything, yeah. everything's madness. Um, the bullet time, yeah, the, the jumping through the window at the the club. Oh man, madness. Yeah, great, absolutely great. Um, what else? Uh, Dead Space, t- Dead Space Two. Okay, I've not played that one. Oh, brilliant! Definitely, definitely for Halloween too. That that is probably the scariest game I've ever played. Uh, to be honest really? with you, I haven't really played that that many horror games, but I was late into Dead Space, so I got the second one, and I was so scared because it's a really jumpy game. It's really jumpy and quite psychological, so I I was so scared that I had to play it in the daytime with the blind closed. <laughs> Brilliant. I couldn't play at night. I couldn't play because when I first put it in, I was like, right, got to play this at night. And then when I first tried that, when I first put it in, just 
you know, put it in the Xbox. I was like, no way. There is no way. I can't even, I can't do it. Because I don't get scared. I'm not, a t- I'm more scared of horror films to watch on my own at night than a game. But that. Really? I'm the other way around. I can watch horror films easy, but with games, I'm yeah, I get that. terrified. I'm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know. If that's weird. I don't know. But not with games, but I think it's because it's so well, well done. It was really, yeah, I just couldn't do it. Um, What else? So Dead Space 2, Max Payne 3, GTA 4, say. I thought 4 was, four was great. 4 was really Yeah, good. with Nico um, Bellic. Bellic, yeah. A brilliant story. Line. hilarious hilarious there yeah, that was great um do you prefer four or five then oh see no it's a good question i mean story wise forget I the would, gameplay I, I think four okay forget the gameplay four for story was better interesting I, interesting I, do you not do you think the five story was better or have you heard other people say otherwise uh i mean just i don't i don't really care what other people think to be honest but um <laughs> in my personal opinion i probably slightly prefer five story because it kind of splits between three characters yeah there is that there is that i think i think that yeah yeah, the i think four's story was great because the whole off the boat you know fresh off the boat guy sure cousin (laughs) yeah exactly cousin's (laughs) yeah exactly cousin's billy um Yeah, man, it's brilliant, and the, uh, yeah, you I get just, to go on dates with Mallory. Exactly, exactly yeah, exactly. I think because I think sick because since you know since free, it was groundbreaking, wasn't it? I think that's I think that's why I remember it and have the nostalgia for it. To be honest with you, I sure, think, sure. Even the game part, I actually think, yeah, I think I would say I prefer four in general. I mean, five is great. Don't get me wrong, but where yeah, where you're a completely different character, you know, you're this foreign character is just like mm. completely different. Um, and have a system. Or, yeah, good and, choice. Choices, man. I liked your choices there, actually. A lot. Yeah. I mean, a bit, um, what would you say? Uh, typical kind of games, isn't it? Really, GTAs and that. But not no. really. I mean, most people would say GTA 5, but you kind of, what you kind of, you know, surprised me there. So oh, nice. Um, N64, I'd say um, Ocarina of Time, Zelda, of course. Has to be. <laughs> Has to be. Um, so that's like on everybody's top 10 list at number one or number two. Yeah. That's like a yeah. Everyone loves that one. Um, Golden Eye. Interesting. Okay. No. Uh, Have you played no, it recently? I haven't. I, I've heard bad things. Ever since I heard bad things, I didn't even try it. <laughs> I was I was I kept meaning to play it. I kept meaning to play it, but then I kept you know after it came, I was too you know. By the time I decided to play, it, I kept seeing the videos and the reviews and stuff, and I heard it was you know it wasn't good. Is it? It's, tried? Uh, no. it's uh, it's <laughs> crap. Yeah, because I mean I loved it when it came out. I mean I'm sure we all did, but yeah, it's just the. Uh, Maybe I'll tell you what, the thing with that game is if you play it on an N64, I find now it's like the controls are really bad. Yeah. But if you play it on an emulator, you can actually map the controls so they're like Call of Duty style controls. So it makes the game a bit more playable, like with like a dual stick kind of config. Because back yeah. then there were no no dual sticks, were there? It was just one stick. Exactly. It's times changed too much. Probably yeah. just yeah, probably yeah, it wouldn't have aged that well either. Really, I mean, it's such a so yeah. You got to play on original system. That there's certain games, isn't there? There are certain games that you you can't really you have to play on an OG system. Um, yeah. So you would pick Ocarina of Time and Golden Eye. Yeah. Um, and then what else? Difficult. What the games? Oh, hmm. uh, I would say F Zero X. I reckon. I love that game. Yeah. That was. I love that. No, was it F Zero X or was Micro Machines on the N sixty four? I think there was a Micro Machines. I think V four or something like that. See, I remember it so bad. It, okay, if there was, I would pick Micro Machines instead. Interesting. Okay. Was, cool. 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 Yeah. That was a great. That was a. That was the family game, man. That was the go around a cousin's house, always on it. You know, the the the, the, the quirky scenes where you could on the toilet seats and all the the crazy stages. Oh man, we had so much fun. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Micro Machines was just such a big thing back in the 90s, man. Like, I remember playing, I think I played all the Mega Drive versions of that game. Uh, but yeah, they, it just, just kind of vanished now. Like, I'm surprised they never carried on that franchise. It's just, I don't know if they still make them, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. No, they, yeah, they, they should really. I mean, that, that a modern day uh, Micro Machines would be, that would be, that'd be great. Imagine imagine what they can, stages they could create now. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah, because I know they make Hot Wheels, Hot Wheels racing games, but don't, don't know if they do micro. Yeah, there's a lot of, yeah, it's a lot of like kind of similar style games nowadays, but that is pretty, pretty much like micro machines anyway, ain't it? Mm. Um, another console. So I'm just going to have to say Switch. I would say Nintendo Switch. I would say Breath of the Wild. It's very modern now, very modern. So I'm going to say Breath of the Wild 2. Yeah. Not that oh, I'm really? Okay. 
Not that I've played hardly any of it. I've, I've, <laughs> probably I've that's why I'm it. Yeah. yeah, I've only yeah. played like an hour of it. Yeah. Um, that's probably why I'll take it because then I can actually play you it. Can finish <laughs> it. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, that. Yeah. It's meant to be a really long game as well. Yeah. From what I played, even just the beginning, I thought I was blown away. Even just from the start of the game, I was like, "This is brilliant, man." You like it? Good. I thought it was kind of like what Breath of the Wild one should have been. That's what. That's how I felt when I first started it no when i played it i don't know i don't know what it is it's like even though breath of the world obviously is great i can't so, and i'm going for tangent again now but okay no, i just kind of think that breath of the world the first one is kind of a little bit overrated i don't know why ah interesting I, go I, on go on hit no, me with I, this man I, I did really like it but i just i just feel like it was i just feel like i don't know what it is i just feel like it is it, it it's been yeah, overhyped or overrated I don't know what it is. I, th- I mean, I guess there's been so many great Zelda games. Maybe that's why. I don't know. It was, yeah, it wasn't that, I guess that too, this, um, I don't know. Yeah, it, I just think it's just a bit overrated, to be honest yeah, with you. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. No. Just what I've played of the second one, even though I haven't played a lot, I, f- I feel like this is what it should have been. The first one should have been. If that makes any sense? I don't know. Yeah, yeah. No, cause I, I, I'm actually with you uh, in, a, in a weird kind of way. So, um when breath of the world came out so i played it like when it was brand new like on launch day type thing like like a lot of people did and uh don't get me wrong i enjoyed it i enjoyed walking around that world and exploring that world you know you do feel like you get taken away but my kind of zelda games because i grew up with the older ones like on the super nintendo and n64 and whatnot the, the ones on the first game boy and everything i prefer my zelda games to have like dungeons and you know that typical zelda formula Whereas yeah. I found Breath of the Wild to be a bit too empty. Like there weren't dungeons. Yeah. There weren't, you, you didn't meet that many people on your adventure like you would in the other one. And it was a bit too dark for my liking. I prefer them when they're a bit more kind of fantasy, colorful, you know, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. That's just the, my the, opinion. But I th- yeah, I think they could have done more of the land. It was quite, it, it, a lot of parts were kind of bare in a way. The, yeah. Yeah, that's you could be walking for a long time without bumping into anything, kind of thing. That's what there. Yeah, I think that's hit it on the head there. Um, what else? Just gonna, I'm just gonna have a look. I'm just gonna have a look. Oh, is your collection right next to you? Is it? Yeah, I've got some here. I would say, God, I would say, it's gotta be. Oh, Hotline Miami. Oh, Hotline, really? Hotline Miami, Miami collection. That's great fun. It's what do you like about that? Manage. It's just so, it's just the fast pace, you know, the fast pace, top down, the shoot are just full on action. I think it's just very, it's addictive. It's kind of addictive, kind of one of those addictive games. Um, it's great. Have you played it? gets it? good reviews. No, I tried playing it once. I didn't get into it. Maybe I didn't give it a fair shake, to be honest. But I know a lot of people go crazy for that one. Yeah, it is great. It is a great game. Proper violent, of course. I love it. <laughs> Loads of blood. Yeah, well, yeah. I'm not it surprised is, at all. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but it's that kind of like retro kind of pixel graphics top down it's just madness yeah it's brilliant um one more last one say, oh i would say i would say uh i would say hunt down oh i've not played that hunt down oh it's great it is great. It's like a um, proper retro platformer, but like it's it's like an eighty style. It's really smart how they've done it. It's brilliant. You, oh, you've it's, got to play it. You it's not it. my Hunt Down Miami or something, is it? No, it's it's just called Hunt Down. But like the oh, voice, okay. it's really it's really funny. Like the 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 the, the way the narration is done and stuff. It's like it's brilliant. It's like an eighties and the 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 levels are brilliant. It's fantastic. It's like yeah, like a retro. It's kind of like uh like a Blade Runner kind of feel to me. Oh. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Go check this out. Really cool. Um, is that free? Was it free? Can't that remember. is three. Yeah, 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 dude. Okay, well, thanks so much for uh for for listing those games. I'll get them uh, packed and shipped out to to hell for you. <laughs> Thank and, uh... you. Thank you. Free me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. on fire. Like nothing's yeah. happening. <laughs> dude, tell uh, tell everyone what your uh where they can find you and uh, what you're working on next. Um, so YouTube at the Rampage Talk. Um, Instagram is I can't even remember now. Is the Devil Plays Games or Devil Plays Games? Something like, but it's on my YouTube channel anyway. The link to my Instagram's on there. Um, yes, Instagram, YouTube, um, content wise. So I'm hoping to release a new video. Um, actually playing the Hotline Miami. So rampaging, rampage through Hotline Miami. Um, I'm hoping to get it out. It's probably looking like Monday now, maybe. It's taken me a little while to edit, to be honest with you, because of the way that I did... Oh, man, it's a lesson learned. It's my first time filming, <laughs> first time filming myself and playing the game. 
But where I played it, you know, because I, I haven't played it for a while, Hotline Miami, I died so many times, so many times that I had to cut out so much with the video. It was three yeah, hours. Yeah. I, I, let, I should have said, listen, learn not to leave it recording. For out, I, put it, I had three hours of worth of recording. On. <laughs> so and you cut through all of that. That's what, yeah, I cut, I've cut it down to like 13 minutes. It took me Goodness eight, gracious. It, it, not, not even, yeah, not even the effects. It's, the effects is easy. The other stuff is easy. That's oh. really easy. So less than that, I could have done it in like a day. You know what I mean? But because of that, oh man, it was painful. But yeah, is it a short game or is it a long game? It's well, I haven't actually completed it. That's the thing. I haven't even because I I started ages ago. Um, because I never played it before, so I got I didn't I didn't even know it was on the Switch. When I saw it on the Switch, it's really, it's really cheap. It's only like twenty five quid, I think. Uh, so this it's one and two. Hold on, my me one and two and one in the one disc. Um, I think there's like I think I think there's fourteen chapters uh, in the first one, but I don't know about the second one. Uh, so yeah, it's it's fairly long. Yeah, it's fairly long because some it, it it gets really hard. It gets yeah, really yeah. I, don't, I don't think you can change the difficulty as far as I know. I haven't really looked properly, but I don't think you can. I think it's just one difficulty and it just it gets the further you get in the game, it gets really difficult. Yeah, you know, yeah. because the thing is with that with that game, it's like the, the, if the enemies spot you, that is it. It's chaos, you're dead. You could be dead in a second. Or you have to stealth through it or something, or so you start back. So if you die, yeah. So like the further you get into the game, it's like one level could be like three stages, or it could be two two stages or three stages. And yeah. and a boss. Yeah. So, so in in this video that I'm that I've done, I came across my first boss. I think while well, I was recording, so that was great. Um. But yeah. So that, so it, so where I'm like, oh, where I'm playing it, and I'm thinking I've done the level, but then it just carries on. I was like, oh man, there's more people. It's just yeah, it's it's brilliant. Yeah. So it can yeah, it does get it. It can be it depends. Yeah. So you'll be dying loads of times. You'll be dying. I'll check this out, man. I, I can't wait to see a video for this one. Yeah. No, I hope I hope, uh, hope it pleases. I hope it pleases everyone. Um. <laughs> yeah, got that, and then I've got um. Worst, I'm thinking of doing what well, I am. I'm, pl- I'm planning and I've got a game ready for worst games ever made. Worst games ever nice. made. Nice. On a rampage, worst games ever made. And yeah, it's not just going to be me saying, it's not just going to be a plain old talking, oh, this is a bad game. Expect carnage. Expect carnage because it's going to, what I've got planned is, yeah, it's going to be pretty chaotic. So you're going to smash some controllers up or something. I'm not saying, I'm not saying, (laughs) I'll leave leave that to your expectations and your, your, yeah, (laughs) expect the worst. Expect the worst. Let's just say I'm, 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 I'm buying the worst games that I think is the worst games in, in, in other people I'm, I'm gonna upset a lot of people i can't wait, <laughs> but, I can't uh, wait. yeah and i'm not buying them to keep the games either so put it that way <laughs> oh my gosh these ain't going back to cex to be resold no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> i don't care how much they're worth <laughs> uh yeah that and i'm thinking of doing games to die for so like great games um which is that GameCube game I was talking about, which I bought nice. for that video. I, wanted, I was going to buy it. I wanted to buy it anyway, but it's even better if I can do content on it. So I'm going to... I'm intrigued now to see what this is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I don't think it's a... I don't think... I don't, I don't think a lot of people have played it. I don't know. I don't know. But I, I was surprised. I don't know. It's highly rated in the terms of like, you know, game review ratings that like mm. IGN. Are. But in terms of people that I know have played it, it's not really... I don't think there's that many. Um, but yeah, it's a brilliant game. Absolutely brilliant game. But yeah, so if, if you haven't played it and you see the video then you'll probably want to play it it's brilliant especially if you like you know weird games <laughs> weird rpg style uh yeah rpg style game it's actually a rail it's actually like a it's an rpg rail shooter so it's like a one of a kind it's really good japanese there'll be it will be an ongoing series of each one anyway so mm-hmm. so it's you know several different games so that's yeah that'll gonna keep me well busy anyway for, for a while and that's it for now i think and then apart from that just some shorts that i'll be doing um uh, showing off my collection in the, the short videos um yeah that's, oh, oh oh and obviously girth tuber i've been nominated for girth, finally been nominated actually been nominated for girth tuber of the month oh you're up against razes retro and uh, retro am, projections and whatnot right don't worry that was, video, yeah, that was a tough this has been a tough month for nominations man my, oh, my no. loyalty was yeah loyalties have been tested massively <laughs> that's the thing I've, um that's why i didn't want to put out a video straight away because i wanted to give everyone else if i not big it not give myself a big head but if i really wanted to i could win it easily i would annihilate, <laughs> I would annihilate everyone 
including Gold Tooth, Old Annihilator, the Girth Chipper creator. I wouldn't, and everyone's getting it. And there is a video coming just when, when everyone least expects it. Mate, so, um, based really... on your past performance, I can believe that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it won't be as, um, yeah, no, it won't be like a snuff film this time. I'm not going to, I'm not going to include any, any uh, footage of people being killed or animals being harmed. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> right, this time. But, um, yeah, so that, that's there's that because uh, yeah, everyone's been like, why haven't you put? You haven't even put. Out, I forgot you've been nominated. You haven't even put out one thing. I'm like, oh, don't worry, don't worry. It's gonna be one, a couple of videos that are coming, but one's gonna be yeah, it's the one, one big one. You know, when least when everyone least expects it. So there's that. Um, yeah. Oh, and also, obviously, I've been because I won YouTuber of the month. I'm up for running for YouTuber of the year, which will be I don't know the details yet. It's gonna tell me soon but there'll be that so i don't know what's going to really be involved in that i don't know when i'm guessing the it's going to be december maybe i don't know i don't know how it works It'll probably yeah be yeah so there's that so i'll probably be doing stuff for that as well so yeah it's gonna be uh it's gonna be big it's gonna be big yeah hopefully you'll have these videos out by then as well so people have something yeah. to to go on in it so yeah, yeah I've really getting gotten into it man i see once you've been sucked into the youtube game there's no going back i don't think there's no going out man once you see those analytics going up yeah, yeah. Coming in. <laughs> yeah like, like a stock market you know it's like what the <laughs> these graphs these numbers <laughs> You get addicted, Wolf of Wall Street. Oh, come on. It, it oh, does, yeah. oh, oh, oh. <laughs> That's it. That's it. You see those numbers go up, you're so happy. You see those numbers go down, it depresses the hell out of you. <laughs> yeah, it's an addiction. It's an addiction, you just Yeah. Talk, man. Thanks, yeah. man. It's been, it's been a long oh, time dude. overdue, but I really appreciate it. It's good to actually finally like, speak to you properly as well, man. Yeah, no, thank you. Thank you for having me on. Thank you very much. Big up everyone. Big up yourself. Big up Gold Tooth. 16 bits and balls, marathon gaming, Mark goes blind, PJ Venom, Rezzers Retro. So I uh, for- uh, sorry if I've missed you out, but there's too many, too many names to mention. But yeah, it's been a oh, my yeah. pleasure. Hopefully we could do it again soon. Maybe a v- maybe a video next time, eh? <laughs> maybe, yeah, yeah. I'll have a few drinks first <laughs> and uh <laughs> make it happen, yeah. <laughs>